right now we do have to go house. back because Derek is mad for his pumpkins. They're all into carving pumpkins as well. So let's find out how we do it. Derek, take it away. Yes, good morning, guys. And welcome down here to Killarney County Kerry. <laughs> Oh, we're having great fun here around Killarney Pumpkin Farm. Uh, D.B. O'Connor is with us. Good morning to you, Derek. Welcome to Kerry. Yeah. Welcome to the Killarney Pumpkin Farm. It's great to be down here in the kingdom. Now, first up, we're going to get into the farm before we uh, get into the pumpkin carving. Oh, look, we have, we have a couple of tears down here. Uh, sure, that's, that's part of it. That's part of it. Uh, tell us about the farm itself. Uh, the farm itself, well, it's uh, originally would have been my, my grandfather bought a bit of land. Uh, my father added to it, so I've been here for a couple of generations. And uh, we came up with this idea of the Killarney Pumpkin Farm. So basically, when you, uh, when you arrive here, you arrive into the courtyard and you have options. You can head over for the Witch's Cottage, which is actually an old cottage mm. lived in by the Manny family. Um, the cottage itself has a cauldron. It's got a witch inside there. She's brewing up spells and potions. Potions and lotions, which is great. Really all, all decorated and very witchy. So much so that most kids are convinced that she... You know, <laughs> she well, lives she, there. She does live she there. Does. She does live there. <laughs> uh, you can make your way up to the uh, the bonfire, uh, mm. which we call it now, originally a bonfire. Uh, it would have been... Uh, and then you can make your way down then into the ghost bus. Both ghost bus, then, is a walk-through scary bus. Um, I would originally have done tours in, around Killarney with us, mm. but uh, it's been repurposed, shall we say. And landed so here on the yeah, farm, and then from there, the then, farm. onto the corn maze. And then on up through the scary boreen, up, yeah. through the, up through the corn maze, you make your way through the corn maze, loads of... Uh, loads of kind of dead ends and, and stops and twists and turns in it and then you arrive at the pumpkin patch and it is fantastic and because you have hundreds of pumpkins like out there hundreds of thousands of pumpkins we've got a huge selection of wheelbarrows large and small uh, you get your wheelbarrow and you just let loose on the field and you mm. pick and you forage and you look and you finally you find the perfect pumpkin to take home and carry. And that's what I love about it. The kids can get out, they can get mucky, they, oh, can, they, get can, yeah, they can get stuck in. They can, yeah. And they love it. They actually, they love the freedom. Uh, you know, people are saying, what, what do you... They, I think it's the one big thing is they just love to be left run in the field and picking their pumpkin and it's like a treasure hunt. And obviously as a small business, business owner, we have two good full fibre broadband here, courtesy of Virgin Media in the county itself. What does it mean to you operating a business oh, like this? hugely important for rural Ireland the broadband and the quicker it's rolled out the better um, it, it's like to, we, we need this to operate businesses like this you know I, I don't want to work in an urban environment you know, this, I love being out and about in the country and I, I want to you know keep this going and to be able to work and stay here yeah and, keep, and, keep and, your operation and the, the fibre important. broadband is hugely important for that uh, talk important. about the history of the pumpkin then were you starting off with the gourds here in front well originally um, I don't know whether you know this or not but originally the pumpkin was a turnip mm. it's an old Irish story about a man called Jack a nasty man the end of the story involved the, the, a pumpkin being carved out to hold one of the coals of the fires of hell so this story was taken to America by Irish immigrants and lo and behold the pumpkin became, or the turnip became a the pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. We imported the whole thing back into Ireland, so much so that in recent years, if you can ask the younger generation, um, you know, they think it's a, Halloween is an American, American festival. Tradition, yeah. But it's, it's a Celtic festival. It is one of the four major fire festivals of the Celtic calendar. Samhain. So, Samhain. Mm. so this festival is going back nearly two and a half, its origins are two and a half thousand years old. And all the, the traditions that we carry on today, the, the dressing up um, um, all of these all have their origins in the Celtic festival. Now, to have carving the pumpkin as well. Uh, these are the traditional pumpkins that you pick yes. up in, in the field. Yeah, and these would be jack-o'-lanterns. This yes. particular brand is called jack-o'-lanterns. Yes, now we've been busy carving a pumpkin before. <laughs> yes, yes, we were making a tin today. You were making a tin uh, today. We, want, we tried to get Ireland in. So we're going to finish off carving the pumpkin here at Live and Air. I believe you have a celebrity story involving Robert Sheehan. Tell yeah, us about actually, that. Actually, yeah, last year um, Robert uh, appeared on the Late Late Show and he said he had a story about um, you know something that happened to him on his way to Dublin. Yes. He actually has uh, relations in, I think, back in the Kilorgan area. So he revealed on the show, on the Late Late Show, that he had seen the signs for the Clowney Pumpkin Farm, yes. uh, made his way up, we we're closed midweek, disappointed, he wanted to take a pumpkin home to his family, so he proceeded to scale the gate. Under the cover of darkness. Under the cover of darkness, <laughs> made his way into the pumpkin farm, picked his perfect pumpkin, put 20 euros on the counter <laughs> and hopped back out over the gate. 
So he reckoned it was easier to ask forgiveness rather than permission. Uh, rather than permission. So he actually, he actually contacted us on our social media. Yeah. And we said, great and fabulous. And the publicity, as you can imagine, my phone melted the next morning when I woke up. <laughs> but he uh, paid for the pumpkin. He paid for the pumpkin. That's the most important uh, That's the most important thing. Where can pumpkin. we find out more online, by the way? Uh, in uh, KalaniPumpkinFarm.ie. All right, uh, there you have it, guys. And look at this big pool of bus, big man from Clown. <laughs> There we go, all in the M. Not a bad effort down here in Killarney. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here, DB. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. Big cheer, guys! Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. This fella loves Halloween. He gets very competitive about stuff like this. Could try harder, I'd say. <laughs> if you put a pumpkin down, you'll have a carved for five day, seconds. Like. Oh, what's he been doing? And he carved something especially for the show that he works uh, on. Thank you very much, Derek. Very interesting. Yeah, I love the, I love Halloween. Love all those pumpkin farms and stuff too. Yeah, we so have to show Halloween. you a picture of his house. He goes all out for Halloween at some stage. Mm. You'll love it. Anyway, uh, 